Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter. where last time we did stuff. Carthage resists, but not for much longer. Or we will kill them! Kill them all! So last time I said that I wasn't going to record anymore until I got some feedback from you guys, because you know, it's meant to be a bit interactive, so you guys have the opportunity to give me advice, tell me what I should do, that sort of thing. So the general consensus was that the Seleucids must be dealt with. How to deal with them? Well, that is the question. I'm thinking that they're going to push it, though, because the general consensus was just hold the line here, push through this way, because it seems weaker, seeing as Carthage only has one settlement here, Egypt only has a few settlements down here, but as we can see, they've got some stacks over here. The idea was, though, that a couple of people mentioned um, that because the Seleucids and the Egyptians are at war, this area should be fairly clear of enemies. But I guess we won't really know that until we send a spy up there. Can we can we make it far enough? Not really. We can we can see Jerusalem, but we can't really see anything else. That's okay. Also, on that note, oh, actually, yeah, we can see some. There are there are bad guys over there. I do not want to tangle with them. Um, on that note as well, um, because of the new comment system, which is also wonderful, some people were personal messaging me comments instead, so you know, like, because they don't want Google+, Plus, which is fine. So for the future, if you guys want to message me, you don't feel that you have to use Google+, Plus. Just, just personal message me. I read them, I reply to them, I might take a day or two to reply because I just don't notice them, but I will, eventually. It's just the way things work. Work is evil. I get tired. I don't check my emails for a couple of days and then boom! Well, you guys have commented on everything. But it's good. I like viewer interaction. Viewer interaction is good. So, the plan I'm going to go with is this. This navy can probably hold roads. This one is just going to be transporting. And this one is going to head down south to join up with Admiral Queso and blockade the ports. We don't really have to worry too much about this area, I don't think, because the rebels are handling that one fairly well. But I do want to attack Hadramentum if we can. Now I'm pretty sure that we built siege equipment last time. Yes, we did. We have siege towers. That's not my favorite way to do things, but they don't really have any infantry, so we should be okay if we rush them. Utica didn't trigger the Marian reforms. I still want to wait until we can get the troops that we sent over here back, but that might not be an option. You're doing okay. You know what? You two combine. By the powers of Grayskull. And you... Mm. Can you retrain ships? Like build them? Retrain them? No. I think this... Hang on, wait. No. Is that... Carthago? Yeah, that's Africa. Okay, so Carthage is going to hold out for four more turns, the city of. And we surround them already, so if we take Hadramentum, that gives us three solid bases up here. Once this falls, I'm 99.9% .9 certain that the Marian reforms will trigger. Game? Do you mind explaining yourself? One moment. Okay. Prefix up. Seems okay. Okay, all is well with the world again. So, uh, first things first. Hadramentum. Oh no 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 no, that's not that's not what I meant. Actually, I wonder. Oh no, if I move, then I yeah. Fuck it. We're assaulting. Attack! So this is probably going to be bloody. Uh, no, no reinforcements for you. Go away. Not attack. Fight on the battle map. Alright. So, if we can take Hadramentum, we've got a solid foothold in Africa, and we can probably move most of our troops out of the cities. We can rely on mercenaries to beef up our numbers and hold them. I'm going to see if we can get some really cheap guys from our neighboring provinces yeah well if victory wasn't near at hand I'd be a little bit worried considering how badly we outnumber the bastards 
Okay, uh, do we have some goals or anything like that? No. I should have hired some. Okay, well in that case... You, brave Hastati, get to take the walls. Congratulations on your promotion. You have fun. Good luck. Have fun storming the castle. Alright. Shouldn't be too difficult, not really. Um, I'm not sure if they'll put anything up on the walls, but we might as well send these guys to shoot at it if they decide to. I'm not sure if they will though, but can't hurt to do this. Okay. Hastati, my brave Hastati, are you ready to rumble? Go. Okay, is there anything on the walls? The answer is yes. We're not close enough to shoot it, so get closer. Okay, they should be within range now. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Uh, I don't want you guys to fire fire arrows, though. Fire arrows are kind of redundant. There's no need for them. Oh, yeah, right. They would fire the first volley like that first. Of course they would. I am a fool. I forgot that um, when you change ammo, you have to wait in room to walk. But, so far, it seems to be going quite well. If we can kill most of these guys when they're standing on the walls, instead of having to deal with them once we break into the city, it'll be a lot easier. The Hastati should be able to take the walls regardless of what's actually up here, because I don't see any infantry. But I don't really like the look of these. I'd like for them to please go away. Now, Siege Towers can be a little bit finicky. I'm not sure if this is going to work properly, because sometimes they just don't. Sometimes they're just like, no, no. Nope. You want us to go up? Not going to happen. Now the real fight begins. Not really. We're not actually attacking the wall as such advisor. Or battle voice. Battle commentator man. That's my job, by the way. Stop wrecking it. It would be cool to be charging onto a wall full of enemies, but no, not this time. So hopefully, it'll work as intended. So they should be streaming up. And if it all goes well, this should go clunk any second now. Any second now? Guys. Are you there? There we go. Okay. Now they're coming onto the walls. Hooray! Now you need to get in there. Go. Charge, charge. So yeah, it was pretty much a... It was an unopposed attack, so it's not like, you know, it was a big deal or anything, but... We'll still capture the gate, and that is a big deal. Because the gate is important. Oi, come here. Kill! Kill! Kill them all! Before they can kill you! Okay, you guys stop shooting. Oh, hell no. Hell no you don't. Bastards. Yeah, they they threw some uh, javelins at point blank. But... The Iberians are now going to go in. Iberians, forward! Go, my Spanish mercenaries, go. Go, Diego. <laughs> uh, Alright, they're broken, they're fighting to the death. That should be a fairly short fight. And then, we'll head straight down. And hopefully attack these sons of bitches before they can do any serious damage. So, go. Go, go, go. The Spanish mercenaries should be here in a minute or so. Yep, here they come. What the hell was that? I have no idea. Building captured? I, I don't know. Maybe we killed the general? I have no idea. Literally no clue. 
What I do know is that you guys need to charge right fucking now. Go, 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 go. Get over here. No, get... get God damn it. Fools! Get over here. Alright, Iberians, charge. Charge, charge, charge. Kill all of these bastards. Go, 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 go. See, the Iberians have the right idea, Hastati. What are you doing? What are the... I hate you. I hate you. Come on, Iberians. You got the right idea. Charge. Charge. Kill them all. Death. There we go. Better. Shaken because you are distraught over the number of enemies. Good. That's the way it's meant to be. Now kill them all. Astarte. Stop jerking me around. Come on, guys. It's not funny now. Nice. We lost, what, four men? Yeah, I think it was four. Not half bad at all. Good job, gentlemen. Okay, so now their new job is going to be to hold this approach. Right here. While our regular Roman infantry... When they decide that they can line up. There we go. Come in like that. Uh, actually, just walk. I'll fast forward it. There we go. You did a good job, Hastati. Well played. We took the walls. We killed what? How much? 79% of their force. They've got, I think, another half unit of artillery up there. Speaking of, I will bring these guys in. They haven't got much ammunition left. Oh, right, because they're not in tight. There we go. They haven't got that much ammunition left, but they'll be useful because, you know, shooting things is preferable to having them shoot you. Funny enough. So I'll have the Iberians advance to, say, there? Yeah, that seems good. And I'll have these gentlemen advance like this. Go. And actually, now you will run. I need you to move quickly. Go, go, go. Okay. So far, so good. Now that is a bit of a worry, because I'm pretty sure that that is their artillery. Their artillery can hurt. It's not a very large unit. We killed the large unit over here, but it can still hurt. Artillery is artillery, and it still hits your guys really, really hard, regardless of how damaged the unit is. And depending on how tightly packed your unit is, when it gets hit, you could have up to 10, 15 guys die in one go. If the if the thing went straight through, say, that rank like that, you'd lose everyone in that. Okay. Better. Better, better, better. You guys need to get up here. And you guys... Actually, what you're doing is fine. Yeah, just do that. You gentlemen need to run like the Dickens. Okay, so what do we got? We got 22, 23 spearmen and 6 artillerymen. We've got plenty. We should be able to deal with this easy enough. Okay, so I'm going to send forward you and you. You are now a new unit. And your job, your one job, is to stand right there. Perfect. And you guys, go, go, go. Iberians, your job is to go there. Now they're rested, so they should manage to make it a lot quicker than these fellows. What I want you to do is line up like so. So they will have to pick which side they're going to go for, essentially. And my guys should make it in quicker. So whichever way they go, we can push back at them. Hopefully our, uh, our archer guys can just kill off these fellas. Okay, they're shooting at somebody who... Oh, the Prinker pays. That's fine. Run. 
advance, advance, advance. You guys need to start shooting at them. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to lose some Prinkapes in this one, but that's okay. We can take the losses. They can't. They're dead. Um, any, any second, guys. Any second. Come on. There we go. Better. Well done. Okay. You guys just run. You've done your job. Frankapes, please kill all of these guys. Yeah. This wasn't the best, but... Now we killed them. Nicely done. And... Should only be one or two left. Dead man? Dead man. God be praised! The enemy nice. general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Now we lost more men than I would have liked. Really? Come on guys. He's right there. He's by himself. Thank you. This is a heroic victory! But all in all, Roman arms. not bad. Another city taken for the glory of Rome. And non, not too bad at all, actually. The casualties were relatively light. Astarte got almost all of their men back. Prinkapes, yeah, 20 men dead. But that's alright. They're not a very low numbered unit, so they'll be fine. Cool, cool. Hadramentum is ours. Kill them all. Yeah. This is going to be a problem, though, because now it's going to grow really, really, really quickly. If we're lucky, we can destroy some of these buildings. Yeah, you... We have... Yeah, you can't destroy farms, which is irritating. You can't destroy this, so I'm going to. Because, frankly, I don't want the population growth. I don't care about the money. We'll start again from a trader. Get rid of that... He wasn't really earning us all that much money anyway. So we'll get a shrine to Saturnus and then we'll get a trader. We'll only build a couple of levels, maybe just a market. But there we go. And you now. Okay, you next turn can get up there. Um, Alright, what do we got here? We have some good troops. I need all of you. And you and you. You, and you, and you, and these. Okay, so they're not very happy, they're not very pleased with us at the moment, but we can lower them down to low taxes. They're losing a bit of money, but that's okay. How many men can you hire? Okay, you can get another unit of Gallic Swordsmen, you can get a unit of Gallic Cav. That works for me. How much do you cost? You cost, actually, yeah, you cost a lot. You are going to become useless after the Marian reforms, but for now you have purpose. That is a war band, damn. General. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, I need some more infantry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow these two units. Actually, no. What's your chance? 75%. Okay. You've got a 24% chance of opening that gate. That is their capital. There is not much coming. If we attack... If we attack now, we can probably hold that. They've got shit all coming towards them. Nothing is saving them. Not this time. Any troops marching towards me? None that I can see. That doesn't mean there's none there. It just means I can't see them, obviously. So, you move in. Attack. Besieging settlements, sir. Balls. Okay. If we're forced to actually assault this place, it's going to be bloody. It's going to be bloody and terrible, but I'm okay with that. And it'll give Valerius a nice little bit of uh, time to learn.
from old dad. What I will do is I will borrow this unit and this unit and place them in Utica. Because then we can tax them and they won't be too pissed off. They'll be pissed off, but they won't be too pissed off. And I'm okay with that. Let them hate as long as they fear appropriately. Now you, sir, Mr. Spyman, you're not too bad. Can you get in there? You can get in there. 24% chance of opening that gate. I will take that. So how much do they hate me? They actually don't hate me that much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move a lot of these gentlemen. You stay. Uh, you stay because you've earned it. And you stay. And you stay. What does it look like now? After I do that. They are not pleased. They are very, very unpleased, in fact. Okay, we're going to have to attack this guy. Go away. Uh, huh. Okay. Have we got... Numidian cavalry. Are they worth it? Sort of. I'm going to send these two back. Okay, and now if we put them on low, good. Better now. You, sir, attack. We need to keep up the momentum, pretty much. If we don't, we've got a bit of an issue. Now, what can you recruit for me? You can recruit some Libyan spearmen. Excellent, because I like Libyan spearmen. They do good things. Send them to there. Now, what about you? You can get me some troops, but a lot of them are Romans. I don't want to get more Romans right this second. I want to be getting stuff like this. Give me some Libyans. So, there. God damn it. There. Thank you. Uh, you could get me boats, but boats are not what I need from you. I have boats. They're just not able to move right this second. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're all good. You need to start sailing soon. Soon, soon, soon. Is there a quick way? Okay, so it'll take you what? Five turns to get up there? More, because it'll be winter for some of the voyage. Okay. Now the question is... Do we want to start fighting these guys now? We can. We'd likely win. Do we want to? You are retraining. That's all good. You are fine. Can you get me any good mercenaries from over here? Anything. Not really. That's pretty much exactly the same thing. Yeah. Okay, stay in there. Can you get me anything yet? You're currently training some light calf. Are you? Yeah, you're training me some mercenary stuff. You? Come on, frame rate, don't be like that. Okay, you can get me some Thessalian cavalry. Which, while useful, isn't the best thing in the world. Okay, Cassius, is there anything here that you can get me? Nope, exactly the same. Okay. Well, you've got plenty of infantry. How are you doing? You have... Yeah, you, you've got adequate amounts of stuff. I think you could hold that. About you. You got plenty of infantry. A little weak on skirmishes, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, you need the infantry more. So you're going to get another unit of Thracians. 
And... Got anything we can borrow from here? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What about you? Gallic nobles? But they're under staff. They're really under... Yeah, they're under numbers so badly. You're not building anything. Does that let you get anything better? Not really. Can you get the citizenship? No. So basically, there's no point... Well, actually... I don't know if you can recruit anything if you don't have that. No, not important. Not important. We'll deal with it later. You... Yes. Our shitty diplomat who's about to die. You have nothing I need. You were going to try and kill somebody. You can't do it just yet, though. We were at the end of a turn when I, uh, well, almost the end of a turn when I ended the last set. So, end turn now. Okay, a spy got kicked out of um, the city we're attacking. Can't remember what it's called that place. And what have you got? Thracian agent detected, discovered and executed. Thrace. Discovered and executed. This should teach you something. We are the most advanced faction. We have a ton of money. Nice Sempronius Longus. He's doing quite well actually. Although he's got a priest of Bacchus now. I'm not I'm not too thrilled about that. Considering that the Priest of Bacchus, I'm pretty sure, isn't all, the guy, all that great. Doesn't he uh, lower something? I don't know. No, he's alright. Cool. Um, siege stuff. Brilliant. Build me a citizenship, because I need it. Moronia. What do you do? Let me get Peltasts. What do I get if I build it all up? Just Peltasts. Phase 2 does add law though, so that's worth it. Okay. It might be worth striking the first blow. While they're disorganized. Because they've got this guy. Where's um where's Ace gone? Ace man, there he is. He's not really doing all that much. Can we see anything if we go a little bit further up there? Not really. I'm assuming there's more men there, though, coming this way. We've got some more recruits for battle. Load up. You need to get over here. And retrain everything while you can. And then you'll be sent back to the battlefield. You know what? Go over there. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm gonna set your rally point to here. Okay, what do we got? Hippo Regius. We can attack it this turn if we desire. There's no armies coming to help. That is a ship. And that is an army that might come to help. I doubt he can get there and back this turn. He'll probably just get there. So we'll deal with that next turn, I should think. Utica and Hadramentum now have new shrines. Good, good, good. You're building all of the important stuff, and you, sir, need these before that. Thank you kindly. Okay, now they're a lot happier. So we'll bump that up to normal. Or we won't. Whatever's good. We're going to be getting a ton of money anyway from these places. I'm thinking that I will just assault. You have troops, but uh, not that many of them. Not, not really. You have very, very few, comparatively speaking. You don't really need archers, oh, but you haven't got any anyway, so I can't borrow some from you. God damn it. You do, though. Come hither. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. If 
we kill them this turn, how long? Three turns. 